the slide and I pussy it's a homicide. <laughs> It's been way too long. You're back from COVID? Yeah. <laughs> the last video, I had COVID. Yep. And it may seem like I gave it to the rest of the staff because everybody got COVID about a month later. It was like full lockdown. Yeah, I he was the only one there for a couple of days. We had shipping stuff all eleven back. employees were sick <laughs> with COVID, and with COVID, no, I just and sick. I was in here, and there's no way I could have shipped everything, returned customer service, yeah. and uh, done the door, like answered the door here. So we locked the doors, put a sign up saying "local pickup only," and yeah. it was an interesting. We adapt. Week. We adapt. It was kind more. of it was kind of fun at the same time. Yeah, it's, it's kind of fun as a business owner when. when Whack gets crazy and you just gotta kinda like flex with it. But but it's we're here, we're back, we're happy. talking about the B twelve high torque. That's right. I almost forgot what we were gonna talk about. <laughs> um first things first, the V twelve high torque is everything the V twelve should have been to begin with. That there's yeah. no reason for a sixteen inch wheel to be able to go seventy kilometers an hour. It's I never pushed it past probably ever 60, which is the new top speed of the high torque version. Rightfully so. So, right off the bat, this is what they should have done all along. It, as I just mentioned, has a top speed of 60 kilometers an hour. It apparently has 23% more power with the same 2800 watt motor. And I can feel it. You can definitely feel Most it definitely. going up hills. It's more effortless. Yep. Um, I was riding trails and it was. Pretty chill, pretty smooth, and um, I'll say I was on the S twenty twenty and uh, S twenty two or whatever. And um, the thing is built for trails, right? Like yeah. built in knobby tire, one hundred and thirty mil suspension. I've got thousands of kilometers on it now. It's that's all I still really ride. I'm not much of a trail rider, like I'm okay at them, I guess. But we were we were ripping pretty fast. So fast single track. I wish I caught that on film. Yeah, it was such an intense trail that we didn't really want to ha hang on to a 360 camera. But he was hanging on, like you know, he was. It was a bunch of commanders and me on an S20, and these guys, the guys on the commanders, ride trails like three times a week, kind of thing. They're these beasts. Guys just constantly Albert out on the trails. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he was right behind us the whole time on this V12 with no pads. He, he rides it raw back, just bare back. Yeah, ride. It's, it's one of those wheels that I feel like it doesn't really need pads. I mean, it would be nice to have better braking power, yep. but I find it accelerates and brakes so easily um, with the custom settings. So mm -hmm. I like to have... Uh, what is it? I think about 33% mm. braking power. 66%. Yeah, and 66% acceleration power. I know what you like. Yeah, and it's like the sweet spot. So I can just sink into my braking and it brakes quite well and accelerating is no problem. I was going up steep hills, no pads. Everyone's like pretty impressed with my riding. Yeah. Going over big rocks and whatnot. Seriously. No, no pads. So. I'm not just pandering too. It was like, I, so he, he says that I would have died. Like I'm not a 16 inch wheel rider. I I just I don't have enough. Never been a fan of the 16 inch. Not a fan. I love the wheel. Like I understand who it's for and all that. And I think it's, mwah. but this is gonna be mostly Bradley talking about his experience or that he spent way more time on it. I feel uncomfortable on it. I I I wish it had pads personally. I just want. I just need a bit more of a feeling control. Probably coming from the fact that I've been on the S20 and when I have your you know by proxy by s20 setup it's like <clears throat> the low pads are t like sucked into my feet like i am locked into that yeah you really, i can't wear your wear your setup yeah on I'm, I'm locked but... into it and it's the only way someone moved my pads a couple days ago um casey came in and, yeah. and moved the pads up and i went to hit a little curb and almost ate it it was no bueno so it's just like i'm so used to that setting i got on the v12 smaller wheel way torquier than i've ever experienced on a smaller wheel and i was just like oh oh dear and at the start i was like you oh this isn't very good and i came back the first time and i sent him a you emoji and i was like what are you talking then i took it home and i was yeah. like what are you talking it's about amazing. it was so good <laughs> right, i'll try it again and i kind of like turned off my bias rode it around a little bit more and didn't try and like push it and just tried to get some kilometers on it it was like okay i get it 
kind of like, you know, if you, you understood how off-tempo jazz was really cool, but you still didn't really enjoy it. But you're like, I see why it's really good. Yeah. You know? And that's another reason why we didn't release a video so quickly or next to the everyone having COVID. Yeah, next to the, yeah. But um, I wanted to get enough kilometers on this thing. Yeah. And I admittedly, I'd been pretty obsessed with the Master, and I've been riding the Master a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but I finally... we. Had some better weather, and I'm like, you know what? I'll oh. take the V12. Oh, I got up the pulp in my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take the V12 home, or and mm -hmm. I, I've been really enjoying it. One of the things I like about it, and one of the things I like about not having pads on it, is it keeps the wheel thin and sleek, and it's really easy to put in my car behind the seat. Mm -hmm. If I try to put the master behind the seat, mm -hmm. it's like oh. pedals flopping <laughs> over all the place, and pads everywhere, mm -hmm. and it's like scratching mm -hmm. at the sides of the car. It's just so easy to put the V12 into like, it's just slim and sleek and yeah. that's one of the things I really like about it. And it is still V12 as, as well, but the V12, high torque, high speed, whatever you pick, um, we're actually not going to carry the high speed. It's going to be, I think the V12 high torque is all people need. Yeah. There's no reason to go 70 kilometers on the yeah, thing. You can get it from someone else. And it's got more robust rim, mm -hmm. um, but what I was going to say, it's, a, it's just a sleek wheel and you, you can put it, it easily put it places. Yeah. <laughs> and for me, that's important to have a wheel like that. Yeah. So, And the price point too, like it, it already is our number one, number two seller, depending on whatever month, even pre, you know, high torque, we already have like close to 30 pre-orders. Yeah, now that we're out of sold out of Sherman Maxes, I think V12s have taken the number one and it's just like you think about it. Okay, you learn how to ride. Your friends get into it. You're like, oh, maybe you're upgrading from an eight or a ten or a T three or something. And you're like, what's next? I don't want to spend five grand. I also don't want something that heavy. I want to be able to carry it around. I want something that's manageable, somewhat lightweight, nimble, water resistant, water resistant, city especially, but looks cool, has performance. To, like I can go ride mountains with my friends on their commanders and S twenties if I want, but I don't have to pay an insane amount of money for it. Yeah, all the things. You get it. Yeah, it's, it's like it's a no-brainer. It's yeah, and, and just a little improvements like they did, like the re reinforced rim we were talking about earlier, and it uh, cool it's got better MOSFETs. The orange accents looks really sick. Yeah, which is um, oh, this is a good time for me to throw in the B-roll of us showing off close-ups of the V12, and then it's got a, a wider kickstand than the original V12. I noticed. Mm. Um, let me confirm that. I'll put a little note, but I'm pretty sure it does. Looking at it, I'm like, oh, this kickstand looks way wider. Only one way to find out, yeah. my friend. <laughs> the poke test. Um, now, one downside to the V12 high torque is I noticed it drains the battery a lot quicker than the high speed. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't, I don't have measurable amounts. We're not quantified. So I was riding the V12 in the winter, fall. Right. In the high torque, I've been riding Coming in from the summer. Home, not up to Seymour. Yeah, we went up to Seymour, did this like, a lot of trail riding, a lot of uphill. I was keeping up with commanders, so we're going pretty quick, 45 to 50 kilometers an hour. Yeah, perfect spot. <laughs> and I only, well, we had a 50 kilometer trip maybe, and I, I, I had range anxiety coming home. Like we really had to slow it down. I, had, I came back with like 21% battery left. But we drove slow on the way home, and it was just, yeah. I would, thought I would get more range. I thought we were going to get closer to V11 type range, but that added power, added torque, I think it just drains the battery quicker. But we're we're, we're yeah. torquing it up a steep mountain, loose and, gravel. And keeping up with commanders. We're, we're, we're ripping yeah. the whole time, pretty much consistently. So that's, you know, important, important caveat for sure. Yeah. Um, there's really, apparently just 45 degree hills. I didn't try that, but it, it does do hills. It, it feels like um, a master, not a master torque, because the master torque is just insane. Yeah. But I feel like I can keep up with that in instant acceleration. Yeah. Um, keeps up with the, the S22, and mm -hmm. I am quite happy with it. I'm pleasantly surprised. I hope that these controllers are better quality than the first <laughs> batch of V12s we had. Yep. Um, in motion, I've been really <laughs> on their ass lately because uh, we want the quality control to get better yeah. and for a wheel that looks amazing um, a little bit more complicated they have more firmware issues there's yeah. so much BMS things going on and yeah. like if you for example a Bagode wheel yeah. if you replace a controller in a Bagode wheel yeah. or a battery you just make sure the batteries are balanced boom you're on your way that's not the case with the V12 or any in motion wheel if we yeah. fix it in motion wheel um, at least if it's a 100 volt wheel, we have to replace the controller and then we have to get in motion to, to do a remote calibration and if that doesn't work, 
So if more issues, sometimes we need to replace the battery, and then we replace the battery, even if we get the battery levels to the same. It still requires a calibration, and we can't do the calibration. We actually have to wait for in motion to wake up in China, yep. <laughs> like stay late six, here. 6 p.m. our time. Yeah. yeah, and then our techs will, and it just slows down the repair process. Yeah. It's very frustrating. The beauty of having a warranty through EBS. But, <laughs> yeah, there is <laughs> something we're doing so. uh, for EB's customers uh, only for now. So we're opening a second location. We actually signed, just signed the lease, um, probably operating in August or September. Ooh. It's going to be service center only, pretty much, yeah. uh, and parts, parts and service. And, and then some people will be able to come in, do lo uh, drop off their wheel and whatnot. And we'll people can do local pickups. Yep. And we're going to ship from there too. It'll be yep. our main warehouse location. Mm -hmm. So because we've outgrown this space so quick, aggressively, yeah. but. Been kind of chatting back and forth with Emotion, and because we could end up being an authorized uh, repair shop for them, we might actually have to, they might give us access to their tools and their mm -hmm. calibration tools, which would make our tech's job so much easier. And we would be the only ones in the world, I believe, with this capability. So let's. Oh my God, this cookie! And oh my God, that <laughs> statement. This is combo. This guy e eats the meat now. Dude, <laughs> came out wrong. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, no longer vegan. I was strict, strict vegan for ten years, almost to the day. June eighth would have been ten years to the day, like strict, strict, strict. Yeah. Not a single like ooh, little cheap milk chocolate, nothing for ten years. Got COVID a week later. Something clicked inside my mind. Something changed. I don't know what it was, but it was like you you need to add animal foods back into your life. Um, it's going to make going on road trips with this guy a lot better. It's insane, man. It's like I'm rediscovering <laughs> everything, right? It's like you forget a lot of stuff after 10 years. You just don't remember it all. So, like, think of all the things like Nutella, milk chocolate, all the different meats and stuff, but like pizza, all the like this cracker. I can't try these chips because like it's ramen milk powder, and, oh, and a cookie, and all the everything. different things. So, it's just like a, a rebirth in a weird way. It's still quite odd. But man, I'm um, happy for him. Yeah. Okay, giveaway. We yeah. do giveaways. Should we make it meat related? <laughs> I, I was I was actually <laughs> going to say one of those. Like, what were you I was going to say give them a because nobody gets to enjoy the glory of mellow. Maybe we send them a little mellow care package. Would it some, would it stay enough if we like wrapped it in cellophane, each cookie separately or something? Each donut. Uh, donuts maybe not. Maybe just yeah. like a bunch of the cereal cookies and chocolate chip cookies. Wrap them in cellophane. Put them in a little air ship them. I mean, like bu like butchers send meat. Well, also now I was gonna say we we'll do a butcher kit. You know how they have those like cool um, butcher whatever. kits. Yeah. All right, we'll do cookies this time. All right. <laughs> to to who? All right, we'll send you a little cookie pack and a swag bag. We'll give yeah. you, I don't know, whatever we have I on have hand. A number between one and one hundred and forty-seven. Guess the number. Closest gets the cookies. Okay, there we go, and the swag. Thanks for watching. I hope we still have juice. Let me check because we don't. Oh even man, to rewind here. One sec. Hold tight. I don't see a light on anymore. Oh, it's recording, but hey. it's, it's it's dead. So the okay. battery is at zero. So it's going to end at any.